Welcome to day three of the Enrollify Podcast Roadshow. Over the last couple of days, we've spent most of our time talking to undergraduate students and to faculty and staff that serve this traditional student population. So today, we wanted to talk to graduate students and wanted to talk to faculty and staff that are serving graduate education. Our first stop was at Roger Williams University, a small private school in Bristol, Rhode Island. Hey there. How are you? We have a meeting with uh, admissions. Who are you going to go and see at admissions? Marcus Hanscom. Okay. Great. Thank you so much. Right. We spoke with Marcus Hanscom, who is the director of graduate admissions. Marcus is an incredible thinker, full of progressive insights, and all of his thoughts will be released soon on an upcoming podcast. But there was one thing he shared that really stood out to me. And this insight was around incentive alignment. You see, faculty aren't incentivized to develop programs quickly simply because there's no guarantee that if they hit their enrollment numbers, that there will be any more investment in their respective departments. So Marcus's idea was, how could we better incentivize faculty to develop programs a little bit more quickly so that they could keep up with market demand by rewarding them with more resources, more time, maybe even more staff that can go directly back into their department. That is what incentive alignment looks like. And that, according to Marcus, is one of the things that graduate schools should be focused on right now. We also spoke with Rachel, who is a forensic psychology student at Roger Williams University. And we asked her about the future of graduate education and what she thinks it should look like. There were a number of insights she shared, but two stood out in particular. The first was around flexibility. So not necessarily flexibility when it comes to the modality of the program, but Rachel said that oftentimes when you enter grad school, you're still not entirely sure what you want to study, right? You might not be totally convinced about what you wanna do after graduation. And she thinks that graduate education needs to be much more flexible. Each semester, you should have the opportunity to adjust coursework, adjust your area of study as needed to ensure that you're actually aligning your learning with the things that you actually want to do post-graduation. Instant number two was around it making sure it's clear what research opportunities are currently happening at an institution. Rachel had this great idea of billboards and postings on websites, right, that clearly articulate, these are the research projects underway right now at our institution, and here's how you can apply to assist in this research. So we've been driving for about an hour now. The weather's looking a lot better. We are on our way to Boston College. We then made our way to Boston College, which is where we are now, to talk to Brett DeMarzo and Adam Paluzzi about the future of graduate enrollment management and a new team that they've set up to support graduate student recruitment efforts. This team is called the Graduate Enrollment Digital Strategy Team, and their sole purpose is to help support the eight different graduate schools at Boston College with resources, tools, and insights they need to better their digital recruitment strategies. Here's how it works. Imagine if you were the Director of Admissions at the School of Social Work, and you knew that you weren't ranking for the keywords that you wanted to be ranking for. You could tap into this team and ask them to put together an SEO strategy for you. This team could also give you tips and tricks on the tools, the vendor partners, et cetera, that you might wanna take advantage of to up your SEO game. Essentially, you're outsourcing your digital strategy to this particular team. And again, you don't have to take all of the ideas that this team offers, but they're meant solely to be a resource to guide you in your digital recruitment strategy. And the coolest thing about this team is that they are 100% focused on graduate enrollment digital strategy. Well, folks, it's been a jam-packed but incredibly insightful last few days. We can't wait to share more of these stories, these learnings, and these insights with you through our blogs, through our podcasts, through our videos in the weeks to come. But for now, this roadshow is a wrap. Special thanks again to Element 451 for making the Enrollify Podcast Roadshow possible. See you all soon.